Good morning. Today's topic is develop a spoken tutorial using Screencast Matic software. Myself Kaplali, working as assistant professor in department of CSE, Kalasalingam University. Why we are going for Screencast Matic? Screencast Matic is the screen and webcam recording tool. We are using Screencast Matic to record a screen as well as other. Uh, what are all the capturing in the screen as well as in your videos we can able to capture first step involved in the making the spoken tutorial is first we are going to open our presentation we are going to create a presentation with some reflection spot questions some quizzes okay and afterwards we are going to open the site screenocastmatic.com and we are going to use the free open source tool which is available in the online and also we can use we can download the screenocastmatic software in your system and you can open the system and you are going for free recorder and you are going to choose the red button okay a dotted line frame appears after we open the screenocastmatic software that shows which exactly what part of your screen will be recorded we are going we can able to maximize minimize and we, with the based on the our requirement we can change what are the things which is within the dotted lines will be recorded you can change the size location of the recording area by clicking and dragging on the dotted line box to begin recording click on the red button the red button shows the recording option Afterwards, we are, the countdown will be appear. Then the countdown shows 3, 2, 1, go. After the go, the recording will be starting. So, we can also pause our recording by pressing the pause button. That is the blue button which is in the corner, left corner. And also, when you, if you are ready to restart, okay, we can press restart button. And afterwards, when we finish recording, we are going to click done button. Okay, these are all the things which are present in our Screencastmatic software. Before explaining the demo, I will give some example. Uh, so, this is the final button. After we gather the presentation is over, the total minutes, and also it shows three different options publish to Screencastmatic, publish to YouTube, and uh, publish to video file. Okay, if you want to save the video file, we can click this publish to video file. If we want to upload in YouTube, there is an option. Okay, I will explain with the clear demonstration after a few slides. This is the example showing how we are going to create a visual presentation effectively. This is the example slides. I am just giving introduction to my subject, database management system, what I am handling this semester. Okay, what is database? I am going to uh, give an introduction to the database. It is a collection of interrelated data. We are using set of programs to access those data, which is efficient and convenient one. And what are the applications of database management systems like uh, banking transaction, airlines reservation, scheduling, sales, uh, in customer products and purchases, online retailers, online order tracking, customized recommendation, Manufacturing, production, inventory, orders, supply chains, human resources like employee record, employee salary, database, tax reduction, DA, and all the calculation of salary. And now, just think and share the university environment. Uh, think and write the applications of data storage and retrieval. Okay, pass this video for one minute and answer the question. Now the answer is what are all the database we need to be add right? Registration we can add for course registration, grade distribution, attendance entries and mark entries. Okay, all the things we can include. What is application program? Okay, application program in this time we are going to add new student instructors and courses. If you want to register a student for a particular course and also we can generate class rosters. And if you want to assign grades to the students and compute grade point average and generate transcripts. Okay, what are the drawbacks in our traditional method? What we have for uh, what we have used uh, for uh, storage in uh, Lost Academia, which is drawbacks of using file systems. 
okay data redundancy and inconsistency what is data redundancy we are keeping uh, the same data in multiple formats so the duplication may be sure difficulty in accessing those data so if we want to access some particular data on a particular moment we are unable to uh, open on time because we need to search a file we need lot of time to search and find the exact data and data isolation what is isolation multiple files in multiple formats or presents so we are unable to access the things integrity constraint okay integrity in the sense we are going to check for a particular condition okay what is the condition if the balance in a account the balance should not be less than zero okay so we are going to change the account we are going to check but it is possible in dbms database management system automaticity what is automaticity we are transferring on a fund from some account to another account so it may incomplete due to the amount is depleted from some account and it is not credited to a particular account that may be occur an inconsistency there is automaticity of updates and concurrent access anomalies if multiple users updating on the particular account in a university database there is a, a Funds or there are both the both of them depicting uh, 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 particular hundred rupees from a term moment. One may be updated, but another may be does not updated. That leads to concurrent access anomalies and security problems. And what are the other levels of abstraction present in a database? The physical level, logical level, and the view levels. So, what are all the things which the which are hiding? Okay, these are the levels of architecture of the database management system. what is instance okay a particular moment what is the data stored in the particular moment is called as instance schema in the sense overall design so here there it is divided into three different types logical schema physical schema and instance okay now logical schema in the sense overall logical structure of the database example the database consists of information about set of customers and account in a bank and relationship are between them physical schema in the sense overall physical structure logical schema overall logical structure physical schema denote overall physical structure or instance denote actual content of the database at a particular moment i already explained okay now we can ask the in here also we can uh, include some questions like what is logical schema what is physical schema what is the difference between these both the things and what is instance that like reflections of questions we can include while we are creating a spoken tutorial okay and afterwards now i am going to give the demonstration so i already opened the screen of castmastic software this is the home page of the website this is the already the dotted lines i have explained this is the red color record button when i am downloaded this this screen will appear so i can start record and afterwards you can start recording your screens as well as your webcam there's two different options screen and webcam if you want both you can also use this both this is the free software if you want to go for pro there is two options available like so first one is if I, uh, there is two different features free features in the sense we can record up to 15 minutes and also we can perform two different operation screen and webcam recording and we also publish our uh, uh, recordings in a uh, youtube and it, and also there is the option to save as a video file these are all the features which are available in the free version if you want go to uh, some paid version uh, pro features there will be no water marking there and also make long recordings more than 15 minutes we can able to record and also record audio files and we can perform some editing tools and uh, scripted script what are the things we are um, script after script writing only we are going to record video so we can uh, write a script recordings also we can perform and we just read it so it will be easy for comfortable for uh, some senior peoples and also those who are not come at the point on a time and we can draw and zoom and we are going on we publishing in google drives vimeo and a dropbox and the screenshot tools also are available there okay these are all the difference between our free feature and pro feature here this is our uh, pre launcher afterwards we can go here and i ask to start recording try it for free now this page will open and we can press this one we get a screenshot to like this we can record what are all the things we get needed okay that's all about the recording in screen cast screen of casmatic now i am going to explain you how we are going to upload in a youtube okay this is my youtube page and we are going to press the button upload afterwards there will be a screen will appear okay if you want to create a new channel it is also allowed 
and afterwards we are going to upload in the sense we are going to drag click and drag okay this is the select files to upload okay i just going to uh, drop the video files here afterwards if the uh, i make it as a license creative common license we are going to use now our data gets published in youtube okay are you clear with the screen of customatic recording and how we are going to upload our visual presentation make our visual presentation effectively with the reflections part first in finally how we are going to upload in a youtube with creative common license okay these are all the steps involved